What's one piece of Puma gear that you absolutely can't live without? Yeah, right now it's the Puma Speedcat. They were started as an F1 shoe. My name is Ivan Dashkoff. I'm with Puma. And my role is I'm the head of Emerging Marketing Technologies. People are so passionate about their jerseys. It's just such a big part of what community you belong to. How do we empower our consumers to kind of really be a part of everything that we do? Puma is an iconic sportswear brand with some of the greatest athletes. We are a very serious performance brand, but we also have fun with it. We always try to find new ways to engage our consumer. I think AI has been a really great way for us to do that. The first big spark was that people love to co-design and co-create and customize their own gear, but it's hard to kind of scale that. Puma AI Creator allows anybody to come in and co-design with the brand. We let them create their own Manchester City kit with us. You prompt in the text to image tool. You could add a style like abstract or kaleidoscope. Gemini will take the style and add additional layers into your prompts. And now you get four different options and then you can project those options onto a 3D version of the kit. And then you can do your different customization layers on top of that. There's a whole voting mechanism and the winning kit will actually be the official third kit for Manchester City. The playoff is so tremendous. You're gonna create the first major AI kit ever in the Premier League on one of the most historic franchises and clubs in the world. We blew past all our KPIs on day one. During the design phase, which was roughly 10 days, 54,000 people created 180,000 kits. When your kit was generating, it took about 30 seconds to generate. And what we did is we created a voting system where you would see other kits and you could say, I like this kit, I don't like this kit. And that got actually 1.7 million fan ratings. We narrowed that down to a top 10 and then we had a fan vote in January. We had 27,000 more people register for accounts during the fan vote. And now we have a winning kit, which we will announce in 2026 on pitch. We actually had participants from 206 countries and territories. So it was a truly global event. We really worked closely with Google on the back end to build out the infrastructure. Their workflow heavily used AI hypercomputer throughout the whole entire process. First, Gemini is reading your prompt, removing any not safe for work language, any third party IP, but also bolstering your prompt, making it a little bit stronger, and additionally translating it if it's in a different language. And it's low latency. We want people to do this under 60 seconds, and Gemini was a huge piece of that. From there, Gemini takes the style filter that you're adding and puts it into your prompts. Stable Diffusion XL is now spitting out the generations. Those are being done through the NVIDIA H100 chips, and we're using the dynamic workload schedule. So instead of having to reserve a huge amount of these H100 chips, it would basically go up and down based on how many people were visiting the website. So for us, that's a huge cost savings. The time it took to generate a kit was between two to five minutes. And when we brought Google and partners at Slalom, Modern English, and Deep Objects on board, they really helped us to decrease that amount of time. We actually got it down to 30 seconds. Sometimes when you work with big companies, it's very hard to get responses, but Google was on top of it. They really put their soul into this project. With Google Cloud, Puma has a new way to allow our community to co-create with the brand. 